Audrey, Sam, Yoriko, and Mr. Aonuma. We are going to take a look at some live gameplay of the Nintendo Switch version of one of my favorite Legend of Zelda games, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So, Sam, please go ahead and kick us off. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Th oh. This is a <laughs> fine, fine choice for favorite game, Dan. Um, uh, as you can see right off the bat, this is a beautifully reimagined version of Coholent Island. Um, it, it looks like a, a clay diorama come to life, honestly. Um, there's a beautiful... Sorry, I had to break the pot. It's mm -hmm. over now. He's just yeah, chowing he down on those just bananas. Had to. I know. <laughs> um, but I, I love this beautiful tilt shift uh, visual effect we've got going. Oh, There's kind gorgeous. of an ethereal haze off uh, on the corners of the screen. So it's just a really lovely reimagining of this classic game. And since we're lucky enough to have aonuma san here, I was hoping uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, the creation of this art style and why it was chosen uh, to reimagine Coholent Island. And so actually this game, I wasn't actually involved in the creating it. I was just a player playing this game. で、その時、あの、その当時ね、ゲームボーイで遊んでるわけですけど、あの、このゲームボーイの小さなこの画面から、あの、その、えっと、下にこう広い世界が広がってるみたいな、そんなイメージでずっと遊んでたんですけど、
、えー、と震災に楽しんでもらえるんじゃないかなと思って、今、リメイクすることにしたんです。And so, why now, you might ask? It's just because we thought, well, Breath of the Wild broke the convention of Zelda. And now, because a lot of people have played Breath of the Wild, they could go back to something, a more traditional Zelda, like Link's Awakening. And we hope that this gameplay will be fresh for people.、Mm -hmm. It absolutely feels brand new. I've played Link's Awakening probably a million times, but this, this feels like a brand new game. It's, it's absolutely delightful. And so、um, now that I somehow managed to get that Yoshi doll out of that crane game, I'm going to chop all the grass in the world. No, I'm not really.、Um, uh, this Yoshi doll is actually a part of a pretty、uh, vast trading quest in this、right. game. So I'm going to go. Into this house, which I love looking around. There's so many little <laughs> details in this house. There's like chopped up piece of fruit on that cutting board,、uh, all those little beds in a row. I love how、toys. they're all bunched up together.、Yeah. Uh -huh. I suppose if you want to get into the one at the very end, you have to get in the first one and just roll <laughs> all the way over. Absolutely. So before I do this lady a favor,、yeah. I didn't mean to throw、oh, that at her baby. <laughs> She's holding a baby. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that at her baby, but I'm doing her a solid here, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna break her pots, throw things at her baby, and then give her a Yoshi doll. Yeah, okay,、yeah. fair trade, I suppose. <laughs> Absolutely. And so, in exchange for that, I got a ribbon, and then I can exchange the ribbon with someone else in this world. So, everybody wins. So, I know、uh, that Audrey touched on it a little bit earlier with Dan, but Dan, you did work on the original localization for this title.、Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and this world is filled with all kinds of different charming and quirky characters. And, and I was wondering if、uh, you had any particular favorite. <laughs> It's really hard to pick a favorite because there are so many.、Um, I was trying to think of a good answer for this, and the only one I could remember was that alligator named Sale.、Oh, yeah. Yes. How you think. <laughs> right? I don't know why he stuck in my mind, but I just thought it was very funny that there was an alligator named Sale who would sell you things. <laughs> <laughs> but I want,、uh, I'm curious what Aonuma san's favorite characters yeah, are. Yeah, Aonuma san's favorite characters are. Aonuma san's favorite characters are. Aonuma san's favorite characters are. ワンワンっていうね<笑>あの、えっと、マリオに出てくるキャラクターですけど<笑>本当にあのネタバレになっちゃうんであんまり言えないですけどとすごい活躍をしてくれてもう僕はずっとこのワンワンと一緒にいたかったぐらいです。And so, as you can see on the screen,、um, my favorite character is Bow Wow. You know, he, he's kind of a maybe a familiar face from the Mario series. And I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to go spoiling everything. But, you know, I honestly hope that I could travel the whole world with Bow Wow.、Yeah. That's a solid choice. And look, there's a little baby one. Oh, yeah. Adorable. <laughs> And so,、uh, my favorite character is actually Marin. And、yeah. I'm going to go and talk to her right now.、Uh, the, the story, actually, again, we're not going to spoil anything, but Link、uh, is shipwrecked on this island, and Marin actually rescues him. And so then he has to go and try and find a way off of this seemingly inescapable island by finding the eight instruments of the sirens and awakening the windfish. And Marin here is singing my. Uh, one of my all time favorite songs, Ballad of the Windfish. It's an original song from this game.、Uh, it's absolutely heartbreakingly gorgeous.、Um, it's hard not to get emotional listening to <laughs> it. It really is. I'm not going to tear up.、Oh, yeah. I promised <laughs> myself I wouldn't, but it's really beautiful. I have to go ahead and grab this kuko just to lighten the、yes. mood、oh, yeah. so I don't cry. <laughs> but,、um, yeah, all of the music in the. Segment. <laughs> yes,、yeah, so、Zelda's known for its music,、yeah. and this game is no exception. The music, the sound design, everything is just expertly done, as all Zelda games are. And so, one other thing I want to do here is I'm going to jump in a well because、yeah. that seems to me like a good idea.、Yeah. Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah. So, there I go. And my brilliant yeah, plan and paid off. Yeah, in this case,、device. you're rewarded for it. Yes. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kiddos. <laughs> So,、uh, we already asked about your favorite character, Aonuma san, but there's so, so much to love about this game.、Uh, could you tell us what your favorite thing about this game is? So,、um, as many of you may know, Mr. Tezuka was involved in creating Link's Awakening. And so, as like, characters like Bow Wow, you see Mario characters that usually aren't in the Zelda series. And then, in the dungeon, 
横スクロールの画面が出てきたりとかあの今までのね今までとかこの後もそうなんですけどゼルダにない要素がたくさん入っているとっても異色作なんですよ。And so, um, even... A lot of the dungeons even have side scrolling stages, which is again not very something you see、uh, often in the Zelda series. <laughs> and the characters are very interesting. It's a little comical, but it's a little bit of a scene that you can see in the world. So, the world is very interesting. And I think it's a little bit of a scene that you can see in the world. And so, the world is very interesting. And so, the world is very interesting. Um, the characters also are very memorable. They're lively, they're comical, but they also bring tears to your eyes, you know? And so、um, a lot of that influenced what,、uh, what I had to do when I was developing Zelda going forward. Absolutely. And、uh, you may have seen a second ago, I was using my shield. I want to point out that a huge、uh, UI improvement of this game is that your sword, shield, things like your power bracelet,、uh, Pegasus boots are always equipped. Uh, which is a huge improvement on the original because that frees up、uh, your Y and X button for whatever else you want to equip, and it just makes things a lot easier. And that's one of the things I really love about this version of the game is that it, it retains the classic feel and personality of the original, but with the just perfectly refined UI of modern Zelda games, which、yeah. is really, really cool to see. And one last thing I'm going to point out here in Maybe Village <laughs> is、uh, we see Dompe's shack mentioned on、yeah. this sign. And that's kind of interesting because Dompe was not originally in this game.、Yeah. And what is he doing in this game? I'm not going to tell you, but we're <laughs> going to tell you a little bit later in this segment. Just a little bit of a tease. But、uh, I think I've explored Maybe Village enough. And I'm going to go ahead and show us a little something else. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, full, of, full of secrets on this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, we're very, very excited to announce that the color dungeon is indeed in this version of the game.、Um, this, uh, the color dungeon was first introduced in the DX version from、uh, the Game Boy Color, and this is the complete version. Uh, of this. So, as I said, we're very, very happy to confirm that the Color Dungeon is in this game. Right. Color, maybe not quite as novel as it was <laughs> on the Game Boy Color, <laughs> but still really neat to see that all of the content of that DX version is, is represented here. Absolutely. And as you can see, these camo goblins kind of sink into the ground in their various colors. And as you can see, I'm going to break you the pots. You have to break pots. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because we're playing a Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience, Aonuma san,、yeah. while, while I break all these pots. <laughs> so,、uh, this is a puzzle.、Uh, I'm not going to go too far into this dungeon. I don't want to spoil it for everybody. But basically, you hit these switches, and it changes the、uh, switches next to them. I've played this about a billion times, so I know, I know well, what I'm doing know here. What, you know what to do here. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> And I'm not going to go too much farther, but I would be remiss as a Zelda fan if I let this clearly bombable wall pass me. All、oh, right. So、yeah. it's got cracks in it. It makes a different sound when you hit it with your sword. It's begging to be bombed. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do it justice. Oblige. Boom. <laughs> And I'm rewarded with a room full、Oof. of rupees, which is one of the best things in the world. Please c o l l e c t them. To be honest,、all. <laughs> I'm going to get them all. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We can go about our business. Da na na na. <laughs> I'll stop being a nerd now and just get the rest of the rupees. <laughs> all right, and、uh, that was all I'm going to show you of the color dungeon.、Uh, as I said, it's just kind of a sneak peek. And now we're going to show you something that's brand new to the game. Take that, it away, Sam. That's right. So we saw this in the Nintendo Direct. But there was a, a new little bit that was added to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. So, just as the Color Dungeon was brand new content for the DX version, what we've got here for the, for the Nintendo Switch version is called the Chamber Dungeon. And just to give you an idea of where we are in the world here,、uh, we're in Tal Tal Heights, and we're、uh, right, at least just slightly to the east here of this Moblin hideout. We see、uh, this new location. And uh, this is something that uh, uh, DX players might recognize as being、uh, the camera hut, but 
but in this game, it's something brand new. It looks like a shack. Yeah, it looks a little <laughs> bit like a shack, and it's filled with our friend Dape here. He was looking for an adventuring assistant, too. I right, yes. yeah. So this is something that I actually wanted to ask Anuma-san about, about the introduction of Dampe into the world of Link's Awakening. He wasn't he wasn't originally here on Koholan Island, so would you like to talk a little bit about what he's doing here and about maybe some of the inspiration behind the Chamber Dungeon? Dampe's あの、ね、このダンペさんってえっと、時の狩りなから出てきてるキャラクターで、えっと、墓守のあの設定の人なんですけど、今回その人に新しくこう登場してもらって、そこであのえっと、パネルダンジョンっていう新しい遊びをあ
But uh, while while we're doing getting this uh, figured out, I was wondering if uh, Anumasan could talk a little bit about the Chamber Dungeon and how it mixes up the gameplay for someone who has already played through the the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. このパネルダンジョンの,あの追加であの過去にゲームを遊んだ方でも遊んでない方でもどのようなプレーをあの期待できますでしょうかそうですねあのオリジナルはあのえ遊ばれた皆さんの,あの記憶に、ね、強く残るあのそういうゲームだったと思いますけど実はあんまりダンジョンのことは覚えてない人が多いんじゃないかなと思うんですけど。So I know this game left a strong impression on many players, but honestly, I don't know if everybody remembers exactly how to play everything. <笑>であの、えっと、このパネルダンジョンってそのパズルを解くような形であの感覚でその、えっと、ダンジョンをアレンジするっていうお話をしましたけどあのそこまで遊んできたダンジョンの記憶をもとにあのそれであのダンジョンをこうアレンジするとですねまたちょっとこう面白いダンジョンが作れるんでえこれをこうあのえっと本編のダンジョンをクリアしながらこのあのパネルダンジョンも遊んでいくとそのダンジョンの記憶っていうのがすごく強く残るものになるんじゃないかなと思ってます。And so, as I mentioned earlier, this is just like figuring out a puzzle. So, if you go back to your memories of how you、uh, completed the dungeon and then play this dungeon as well, I think it will leave a very strong impression while you play. And also, if you play this while the you progress the main story, I think it will even, even leave a stronger impression. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got this up here now, and you can see、uh, now that there's a little green check mark there next to the fill up your hearts challenge. Oh, I guess I should have explained that.、Uh, so, the, this particular challenge, you needed to fill in every single one of the empty tiles with a chamber.、Um, and so, this one I've already completed. You can see I've cleared it. And when you complete it, you get a clear time. And you'll see that that's seven minutes and 42 seconds right now. And one of the fun things that you can do with those clear times is you can challenge yourself. To, to、uh, beat your dungeon faster and faster. Or you could、uh, challenge a friend to see if they might be able to, to、uh, beat your dungeon in a faster time. So I was wondering if Anuma san, <laughs> <laughs> would you please、uh, play through this dungeon and, and see if you could please beat my clear time? Anuma san, you can play through this dungeon. So I would like to play through this dungeon. はい。The dungeon arrangement and the flow of a player's movements through a dungeon and about pacing the puzzles properly. So I'm really curious to see how he's going to get on with this dungeon where I've thought about none of yeah, those things. Yeah, how many times have you been thinking about those things, Sam? <laughs> this was designed to torture other treehouse members. Yeah,、right? yes. yeah <laughs> apologies. I, I admittedly,、um, I did include some more devious elements here. Yeah, using the map is, map is really an, an effective way to get through this particular dungeon. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 Yeah, these guys could be really challenging.、Yeah. They're more like a timing puzzle almost. Yeah. <laughs> trying to defeat them. And, and as you mentioned,、uh, since it times your completion, it's a real fun and terrible treat to try and best your friend's time beating、right. a dungeon. He's doing, he's doing really he's doing well really so far. Well. So, yeah, I said, a,、uh, I think my clear time again was like seven minutes, 42、yeah. seconds. So, he's, <laughs> he's on a really good pace right now. I got another key. But this is almost like a, a randomizer of sorts. So these are all familiar rooms. So you've seen these rooms in other dungeons.、Um, and and Dompe will create these, these chambers、mm -hmm. for you. And even though you know the puzzle, you may know the way through it, because they're all arranged in a completely different order, it's a new type of challenge. Yes,、mm -hmm. and that really adds someone, even if you're somebody who has memorized every corner of this game, all of those、uh, dungeons, those rooms become brand new when you or a friend has arranged them into something completely different. Right. Quickly dispatching all of those keys and finding yet another treasure chest. This isn't、It、his first Zelda rodeo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. apparently not. Yeah. 
I think it's really funny, uh, Anum san, that. Uh, oh, he knew about uh, your yeah. genius. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love using those spinning blades because usually when you walk into a room in Zelda, uh, you're, you're thinking about, okay, what kind of puzzle am I going to face here? What kind of, am I going to have a challenging enemy that I'm uh -huh. going to need to battle? But with those spinning blades, uh, the challenge really is just walking into the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really can <laughs> shake your confidence. Uh, using the I'm map again. I'm going to check the map again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was saying earlier, I think it's really funny oh. that... Uh, <laughs> That Anuma-san uh, has Rock's feather on Y because the the correct the answer, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <That's> right. <laughs> but the, in Breath of the Wild, the jump button was X, so I always put Rock's feather on X. So on this, ano trap wa jump de ukere mas kedo kekko shippai sumu desu. So you could, uh, you know, avoid that enemy with jumping, but you know what? Sometimes you fail. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's making really great time through this dungeon. Yeah, they're just pushing those enemies off the edge. Right. Get out of here. <laughs> he might just beat your time, Sam. I, I'm he's thinking, I'm for thinking it. that's going to happen. <laughs> so the, the ooh. chamber... Ooh. Yeah, this room is a little bit challenging. So yeah, those chamber dungeon challenges come in two parts. And you're going to have different conditions that you need to fill for those challenges for both the arrangement portion of the challenge, but also through the adventure portion oh, of the challenge. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Already. <laughs> my wow. goodness. He's only at two minutes. Yeah. Do you see that? I am I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of uh, awestruck. I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, know. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've got it. There you go. <laughs> He's oh. trying to make your time feel yeah. better, Sam. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's just delaying to try to make me feel better. <laughs> oh, he's already at the, the boss. boss. Yeah, wow. he's already oh. at the so nightmare. He's at the boss now. And this is a really fun one. Yeah. Uh, I like this guy. Yeah, this isn't your uh, kind of standard hit him three times uh -huh. and, you're, and you're done kind of boss. Yeah, as we briefly mentioned, so all of the characters, the bosses, the NPCs in this game are so unforgettable, right. so quirky. I like how they, yeah, they kind of talk to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's giving you a little clue about what yeah. to do here. <laughs> Got a bit of an attitude on that one. But if I beat him, <laughs> wouldn't it be a spoiler? Are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, this is only for the, the the boss of the the second dungeon in the game, so I think maybe it's still early. He's making really too. quick work of it. But I really like the sequence. He's using a technique, actually, that I've never seen before. He's staying really close to the boss and then getting mm -hmm. under the fireballs, yeah. which is not something that I've seen before. No, I think I the normal strategy yeah. is to get hit by lots of fireballs. Right. <laughs> yeah. That may be different from the original game, too. This has more of a 3D feel to it. I right. Know. <laughs> no, that's yeah. true. I can tell you for sure. Oh. It's been 26 years. Oh, and he's in, the, he's in the second phase. Oh. Nice. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know well, you could you hit multiple times there. <laughs> am, am I doing pretty well? He's doing, doing great. Really yeah. well. <laughs> Go through my business. <laughs> I think you're making him angry, though. Yeah, he's got this. Rate. He's going to laugh for you, I think. I, I was going to say, at this rate, he's going to shave <laughs> oh, four minutes off my time. Goodness him. gracious. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how nice you do that. Work. Yeah. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. And a Something new record, 50. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Completely obliterating job. my dungeon clear time. Thank you so much for Good playing adventure. through that. Thank I appreciate you for it. Schooling us it doesn't Zelda. seem to have tripped you up all that much. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I, we're running low on time for, for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. But before we go, we had something really cool that we wanted to share with everyone. And na, 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 na. Oh, yes, <laughs> and it's this, this is little guy yeah. here. It's a new amiibo for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Yes. And he's so shiny and adorable. Oh, my and God. And I'm never letting him go. Yes. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to mess up some bokoblins and melt your heart. Yes. This amiibo is really ゲームの中に出てくるリンクそのままなんですよ。これだけアミーボとそれからゲームの中のキャラクターが一致してるのって今まで初めてじゃないかなと思いますけどね。So <笑> this might be the first amiibo where Link looks exactly like he's taken out of the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. He looks yes. just exactly yeah. like what he is in 100%. the game. 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, he's adorable. So what, what he's going to do for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is he's going to add into the chamber dungeon what's called a plus effect. 
and the plus effects are layered on top of the chambers, and they add a new gameplay variant to, to what would otherwise be a familiar room. So what uh, Link adds, uh, the Link's Awakening amiibo here, what he adds is Shadow Link to your dungeon. And Shadow Link uh, is not like a, a normal mini boss where you fight him in a single room. He'll actually chase you through several different rooms. Oh, wow. So if you're playing through your own chamber dungeon and you add Shadow Link and you defeat him, you can earn a lot of rupees. So that's a, that's a great thing to do if you're maybe running low in the main game. Okay. But it's also a fun thing to do if you have someone else play your chamber dungeon like I had out <laughs> on Umasan. I could have uh, laid a little trap for him and maybe placed uh, Shadow Link on top of one of those chambers. And there are <laughs> other plus effects in the game that uh, w we might be talking about a little bit more later. And uh, in addition to uh, the Link's Awakening amiibo, there's also the other Legend of Zelda series amiibo will work with the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, but not just that. Any Legend of Zelda character amiibo will work with the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So if you have uh, from the Smash Brothers series, if you have Sheik or uh, Ganondorf or something yeah. like that, so will also work you don't this need game. this, right, Sam? No, no, I need it. You Please bet. don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hole in my heart yes. already. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to share this beautiful new amiibo with everybody. It's absolutely lovely. Yes. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's all the time we have for uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Next up, we have a new trailer for a different game. And